Hi all. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you a quick walkthrough of a zip farm, show you the inner workings, and uh, get a visual to help understand how the whole thing goes together. So, this is our germ chamber. Before we actually go into the farm, I want to show you what happens outside of the farm. Uh, the germ chamber we use to start off all of our seeds. It can, it can hold 48 trays of 200 plugs before they go into the seedling station where they're first introduced to light. Uh, it keeps the humidity a little bit higher and the temperature a little bit higher than the environmental controls that, that we experience inside the farm. And it really just helps ensure that we get a, a much higher germination rate than you would really, than, than you could get if you were putting things straight into the seedling station. So this is our vestibule. It's the buffer between the clean room that is the farm and the outside world. The main purpose of it is for bio biosecurity and to ensure that any visitors we have coming into the farm uh, do the necessary, necessary checks before entering into the clean room. Uh, there are a number of different things that you can install into this room. What we happen to use is a foot bath that you step through as you walk in. We also use um, hand sanitizer, nitrile gloves, and hair nets, lab coats, and, food, and boot covers depending on who it is, where they're coming from, and what their purposes are in the farm. So here we are in the farm. Um, our farm is 1,000 square feet. It is 40 feet long and 25 feet wide. We recommend the 25 foot uh, width as an absolute minimum because the light racks themselves are 20 feet and if you don't have five feet to make the turn in the corner, uh, it gets to be very awkward moving your, light, your zip racks into your work zone. Um, yeah, otherwise we'll get down into the aisles in a few minutes, but first I want to show you the seedling station, which is the next spot after plants come out of the germ chamber, they come straight into here. So this is our seedling station. After the seeds, after the plugs come out of the germination chamber, they get transferred into here where they get nice bright light for between 16 and 18 hours a day. Uh, they typically say spend between, uh, between two to three weeks, depending on the variety in here, before they transfer out into the actual grow zone in the farm. And uh, what we're looking for is for two sets of true leaves as well as proper root penetration through the plugs uh, before it's time to transplant. The seedling station is set up with, uh, with a siphon system so that it waters from the top down one by one by one and it waters three times a day. So here we are in front of our Adam doser right behind me. Uh, it controls, uh, it's the brain of the farm. It controls all of the HVAC, it controls the lighting schedule, the, the watering schedule, the nutrient controller, it controls the fans, it controls every aspect of the farm. That links up over to our actual physical doser, uh, which using three peristaltic pumps use, doses our two-part nutrient solution as well as our pH buffer to make sure that both the nutrient levels and the pH levels in our reservoir are accurate. Uh, the IBC is responsible for holding the bulk of our water. Uh, also, it pumps out from there using this pump right here. And then it, uh, it goes out to the farm and it returns through our sump box and gets popped back into the IBC so it can be redosed and topped back up to the appropriate levels before it goes and feeds again in a continuous loop. So this is our workstation. We've got uh, two six foot long stainless steel tables, which are invaluable when it comes to running the farm. They're long enough to lie a tower down. They've got a nice peg on the end that the hole in the back of the tower plugs into and keeps it stationary while we're pulling out media, while we're harvesting things, while we're cleaning towers, while we're pruning things. You name it, it's there. It's very, very useful. Um, harvest station, transplant station, general workstation. It is very multi-purpose. It's very easy to clean. I, you, you can't do without it. Now we come to the actual zip farm. The zip grow tower is the backbone of the farm. Uh, my farm holds up to 450. Um, it's eight feet long. Inside it is uh, matrix media made from 100% recycled plastic. Sandwiched between two pieces of that, we've got uh, polyester wicking strip, which guides the water down from the two gallon per hour drip emitter at the top and make sure that it comes into good contact with the plugs and the plant roots. The water cycles down, hits our gutter, then cycles into our uh, sub drain, which guides it into the next zip rack, 
goes all the way along to the end of the row, and finally back to our sump box, which goes into the IBC to get redosed, to get recycled back into the farm again and again all day long. Aside from the zip racks and the towers themselves, the, most in, the, the next integral part of the zip farm is the light rack. This is what's responsible for holding the LED lights and they have a guide at the top that can slide them back and forth so you have access to the plants while they're in place. Um, and on top of the zip rack, on top of the light rack rather, uh, we have our plumbing lines and our feed lines that plug with a quick connect into each one of the zip racks that you can easily undo and pull each rack out. Thanks for checking out the farm, and uh, if you've got any questions, drop us an email or comment below. Um, until next time, thanks for watching, and happy growing!